1 Kings 8 is an important chapter in the life of the nation of Israel. The temple construction is fully completed, and now the most important item of the temple, the Ark of the Covenant, is being brought into the temple. And the chapter opens with Solomon orchestrating this momentous event just as the law instructed for him to move the Ark. And this was a grand opening ceremony. You know, you could think of it on the same scale or level of production like our modern Olympic Games with opening ceremonies that are just grandiose. It's something kind of like that. And as the ark is brought into the temple, we see that God's glory fills the temple. And it's so immersive that the priests could not continue their service because of a, a thick cloud that fills the temple. And Solomon, as the king, we see that he begins to praise God. He, he dedicates the temple. And throughout the chapter of praise and dedication, he's reminding the people of God's faithfulness to keep his promises. And he prays on behalf of them. And he exhorts them to follow the Lord. And, and Solomon makes it extremely clear in this chapter that it's the condition of Israel's heart that is so much more important than even the presence of the physical temple. He knew that sin would bring God's chastening, but that repentance would bring forgiveness and blessing. And it was more important to dedicate the people than it was even this great and glorious temple. And as believers today, we recognize that the presence of God, you know, it doesn't dwell within a temple or a physical place, but that we, we are the temple of God's Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6 tells us this, don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. So today, just as Solomon encouraged the people of that day, let me encourage you today to dedicate yourself afresh to the Lord. For as believers, our bodies are the temple of God's Holy Spirit.